Let's solve this equation right here, friends. So 2 sine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0. So first we write the remember, sine squared x is equivalent to 1 minus cosine squared x from the Pythagorean identity. So it means you're going to have 2 and then replace sine squared x with this part. 1 minus cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0 as shown. Distribute this over to here and over to here. So 2 minus 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0. So regroup a little bit. Negative 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x. 2 minus 1 is at first a positive 1 equaling 0 right there. But then divide through by negative 1 every term like this. Like all the way across. So cancel the negatives. You're going to have 2 cosine squared x like this minus cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now if you have trouble factoring this, just write u equals cosine x. Use a substitution. So you're going to have 2u squared minus 1u minus 1 is equal to 0. But then you can rewrite the middle as 2u squared minus 2u plus 1u minus 1 is equal to 0 because negative 2u plus 1u is negative 1u, so you're not changing anything. But you can factor from these two to u leaving u minus 1, because remember, it's 2u times 1 right there, really. From these other two, it's like 1 times u minus 1 times positive 1, right? So there's a 1 here and a positive 1 right there. Look carefully, okay? So you factor the positive 1 out. What's left over is then the remaining part, u minus 1. So u minus 1, this is equal to 0 right there. Then you group them, so 2u plus 1 is equal to 0, or u minus 1 is equal to 0. But remember from here that u was equal right here to cosine x. So that means the following, 2u is equal to negative 1, subtract 1, divide by 2, so u equals negative 1 half. So that means that cosine x equals negative 1 half. Alright, from this one you just add 1, so cancel, that means u is equal to positive 1, but u is cosine x, so it's cosine x equals 1. To solve this, you just use a copy of the unit circle right here, okay? So you're looking for cosine x equals 1 half. That's like saying that the x coordinate on the unit circle is equal to negative 1 half. So where does that occur? Look very carefully, okay? So that, uh, the x coordinate right here is negative 1 half. Uh, the 2 pi over 3, so you write that down. 2 pi over 3. Where is it? Where else is it equal to negative 1 half, the x coordinate? Look for this. So it looks as though at 4 pi over 3, right? Because it's negative 1 half. That's the x coordinate. Of, so it's at 4 pi over 3. So you write 4 pi over 3 right here, okay? Where does cosine x equal to 1? Well, let's add the following condition here, that this is 0 is less than x less than 2 pi, less than or equal to 2 pi, or the equal to pi is present. So that means the following. No, 0 degrees of 0 radians, uh, the x coordinate is 1, so you write basically 0. Where else? Is, but then you spin all the way around and you come back to make uh, 2 pi radians or 360 degrees, and it's again it's equal to 1. And we want that because we said less than or equal to 2 pi. So that means you got to put here also 2 pi. And that's how you solve this. So if it's helpful, please be sure to leave a like.